How about your most emotional loss over the years? Wow, my most emotional loss. I mean, I, I've, <laughs> I've had a lot of them, but uh, you've been known to shed a tear. Oh a tear. yeah, yeah. You know, I'm an I'm, I'm, I'm an Italian guy. Wears my emotions on my sleeve. Sometimes good, and sometimes bad. But uh, sometimes those officials can't take a joke. What can I say about it? You know, it's just the way it is. But I think the worst one for me was uh, I want to say it was 2015 when uh, I had a kid named Denzel Valentine. We had a really, really good team. We, were, we should have been a one seed. We ended up a two seed. Middle Tennessee should have been about a 12 seed. They ended up a 15 seed. And that team shot 56% against us from the field and 53 from the three. And we shot in the 50s and lost. And I've had about three or four that I really thought were final four teams. But that one was one, and it was with a group of guys. I'd known Denzel. I recruited his dad out at the Matha High School when I was a GA. I watched him win three state championships here in high school. He came here, and I watched him grow as a person and as a player. And um, I have a saying, do you like the game, do you love the game, or do you live the game? It's the three L's, and he lived it. And we were out in the first round, and uh, that was hard to stomach. It really was. It, it still gets to you. You can tell. Yeah, what? it does because I, uh, I think you have. We we've gone to a final four as a seven seed, so I think every year we have a chance. But um, when you lose as a one or two seed, um, and you had the type of guys I had, you know, like some teams. I mean, you you like them all, you love some of them, but there's some that are special. He was special. But we were a two and we ran into a, a team that was very well coached and very good. And, I, and you know, in all the media, well, you look past them. No, that, that wasn't the case. That's the difference with football and basketball to me. I tell Mary Jo all the time. Not many upsets happen in football. Usually the bigger, stronger, better team wins over the 60 minutes. In basketball, we have two outliers, the three-point shot and the officials. And, and I say that not negatively about the officials, but if your star player gets in foul trouble, it can change the game. So those two factors in this game, neither one of those were factors. Team just played better than us. You said it gets to you that you haven't won a second championship. Why? Well, we've been back to six Final Fours, you know, and uh, you, you kind of feel like... Um, why can't we get over the hump, you know? And there's been good reasons. There's, in fact, there's been three Final Fours we didn't get to that I thought we were as good or better than some of the teams there. But um, you get selfish too, you know, like the day that we played Temple to go to a Final Four in 2001, um, John Cheney, one of my favorite guys, we won the game and I had to go down and shake his hand and I, kind of felt like he was America's team. Everybody was pulling for him. I felt like the guy that shot Bambi. You know, I, I was like, God, I was apologizing for winning because I had so much respect for him. But at the same time, why we can't win that second one, you know? And uh, so I've got to figure out what I'm doing wrong. In his career, um, it's harder to stay on top than to get to the top. It's harder to, stay, to maintain. And I think that, you know, he's fighting for another championship. You know, he, he, he wants that, not so much for himself as for the program and for all the guys that are part of it. You know, your first one came so early in your yeah. head coaching career and you're an infinitely better coach now and had so much more success since then that it's like interesting how that works. Well, you've heard the old adage, you know, players play the game. But I think the difference is I had an incredible leader in Mateen Cleaves. I mean, he was our version of Magic Johnson. Oh, we had a great relationship. And uh, I mean, you had two guys that was willing to do whatever it took to win by any means. Because back in 1996, nobody thought it was possible to win a national championship here at Michigan State. Um, so we had a very good bond and he would push me. Um, I think we, we, we helped each other grow uh, and become better at what we both did. We didn't care about who got credit. The whole thing was win, you know, and I, and I think that's what helped us out a lot. And I've had some good ones, Draymond Green and Denzel and, and some other guys that have been very good leaders. I like people that, I used to say drag people with them, but then that sounds like they're forcing them. 
So we've come up with the term that gather people. Who can gather people and make them better than they really are? That's what a great leader does. So a player coach team is always better than a coach coach team. When you've got a real good leader, you have a real shot.